Hey guys, I want to welcome you to, you know, Trey Nation University Chicago. I'm so excited to be teaching you this information today. Today, guys, what we want to talk about is form, okay? F-O-R-M, form. See, what you guys got to understand about network marketing in this industry is that this is a people business. This is about relationships. So in order to really have success in this industry, you have to cultivate the right conversations that create the, the best relationships. So if you're getting started and you're working your 100 name list, let me show you guys how you approach individuals in this industry. So the first thing you need to do is when you are looking to, you know, pique somebody's interest, you have to use FORM. FORM stands for family, occupation, recreation, and then money. Or you can use message. Okay? So this is how form breaks down, and this is the correct way how to form people, pique their interest so that you can show the plan. So let's talk about it. So let's just say our prospect, right? His name was Mike. So what the first thing I would do, if I'm engaging with this prospect, I'm going to ask Mike, how's his family doing? Why is this important? Because we got to build the relationship, all right? So what you want to do first is ask him how the family. Hey, Mike, how's it going? I haven't seen you in a while. How are your kids doing? Mike going to say, oh, they're awesome. You know, they're growing up. And, um, you know, I'm excited to see them go off to college, right? And what you're listening for is for Mike to give you his pain, right? You're listening for Mike to give you his pain. Why? Because his pain points are going to get him to the level where he can appreciate an investment that can remove his pain. So we're listening for it. So he just told us about his family and his kids are going off to college. Now, we move the conversation along and we go into his occupation. Well, listen, Mike, college can be expensive, right? What are you doing nowadays? Oh, T, I'm at the factory. I'm still at the factory. I've been there eight years and... I work third shift, so I really see my kids, and the money that I make is not even enough. Guys, he just told me. Well, then your response would be, because you always want to make sure he understands his pain. Because people today, they, they, they're falling asleep in their comfort zone, and they do not know their own pain. So you just want to bring it up. Mike, I understand. How long have you been having this challenge where you don't have time to spend with your kids, and you don't have the income necessary to really help your kids go to college and do the things that you like. Mike's going to say, man, it's been five, six years I've been going through this. I've been looking for a way out. I don't want to go back to school. You know, I'm looking for something. Guys, Mike just told us his pain, his time, and he don't have enough income to support his children. Okay? Now, what well, we want to move them on to, the next thing is recreation. What do we mean by recreation? What does he do for fun? So listen, Mike, we understand that you work third shift. You know, you spend a lot of time in taking care of your family. What do you do for fun, Mike? Oh, T, I like to get together and, and play basketball with some of the guys every weekend. Awesome, man. How long you been doing that? Did you play ball in high school? Did, yeah, T, I played a little ball in high school. I went off to college. I played one year until I tore my ACL. Man, how was that like, man? Did you Were you planning on going to the NBA? You're building a report. Man, T, you know, I wanted to. That's what I wanted to do. But unfortunately, life didn't work out that way. But I still like to get out and have some fun and shoot some hoops. Man, that's excellent, Mike. I work out at LA Fitness, and I like to play basketball as well. You know, I, I did make the JV team in high school, but I wasn't the best. I'm sure you can get you can still take me down one on one, Mike. So, guys, understand we're joking. We're having laughs and you're asking them, hey, Mike, what do you think about LeBron being in L.A.? You're building that conversation so that you guys can understand, right, where he's at mentally and some of the things he like to do. So once we uncover what he likes to do. Now we can present the money or the message. 
Because we know the pain is his time and his children. And he wants to do more things like playing basketball. So, Mike, I have a question for you. If I can show you how to get your time back and provide an extra source of income that can go straight to your children's college fund, would you be interested? Yes. Hey, Mike, if I showed you how you could do less work and be in a position to make more money so that you can play more time, spend more time playing basketball, would you be interested? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the form process. This is what you do before you send the video, before you send them to the event, before you do the three-way call, you have to know what exactly their pain is so that you can provide the prescription. Real quick, if you ever go to the doctor, the nurse comes in first and she gives you all the diagnosis. She writes down all your symptoms, right? And then the doctor comes in, he reads the nurse's handwritings, asks you a couple questions, and then literally prescribe the prescription. See, the more pain that you're in, the more you're willing to sign up for the subscription. And what happens when you're at the doctor? When you're in that pain, once he turns over that prescription, you walk right out of that doctor's appointment and go right to Walgreens, your local CVS or Walmart, to fill your prescription. You want to get out of pain. So guys, this was it. This is how you literally form individuals up. And guys, practice this with a team member. Practice this with your upline, guys, and have tons of success growing your business. I hope that this made sense, guys. Get back with your upline for further explanation. And if you have any questions, guys, reach out to a team member and practice, practice, practice. You guys have a great one and great luck with forming.